and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. This week's project, I'm going to show you how to take an old scrap piece of 2x4 and make a train whistle out of it. We've made a mark 5 eighths of an inch down. We're going to go ahead and cut that off for our top. We drew a line from each corner to find the center. Then we come in 3 eighths of an inch on that line and that's where our holes are going to be. We went ahead and hit them with a awl to make sure that the brad point on the drill bit would hit it. Now we're going to draw a line 5 eighths inches down from the top. Another line 3 quarters of an inch down from there. Now we're going to draw a 45 degree angle line from each corner of the second line up to the center of the first line. Now we're going to use a board that I cut at a 45 degree angle. And we're going to use our scroll saw to cut the lines that we just drew. Now that we got our angles cut, we're going to go ahead and cut four pieces a half inch down, a couple inches long. The length doesn't, have, doesn't really matter at the moment. We're going to cut them off flush later. But what we're going to do is take them and sand down one side to where it's flat. We're going to do this to all four of them until it makes a whistling noise. Alright, now that we've got all those sanded down on one side, we're going to take the flat edge and we're going to face it towards that angle right there, right at that corner on each one of these. And we're going to bring it in until it's just a little bit past this bottom line right here. test them to make sure it makes that noise. If it doesn't, you either sand it too much off or you don't have it at the right angle. Alright, they all sound good. Now that before the glue dries, you want to make sure that it sounds right. So you want to go through and test each one. All right, now you just want to let this set for 24 hours to dry, and we'll come right, back. Now we're going to take that top piece that we cut off before. It's about 5 8 inches, and we're going to draw an X to find the center, just like we did here. And we're going to drill an inch and a quarter hole about a third of the way through. Now on the opposite side, we're going to take a half inch drill bit and drill all the way through. Alright, now that the glue has had plenty of time to set up, all we're going to do is come back here and cut these off flush and we're going to glue that top part on. Alright, all we got left to do is to glue our top piece on. First we want to make sure it sounds right, make sure everything works good. Sounds pretty good to me. So we're going to take some glue and put it around the edge here and go ahead and clamp it and let it set overnight. Alright, 
now that the glue's had time to set up, all we have left to do is to sand it down smooth. Sand it down smooth and <laughs> sounds pretty good. If hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this project, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you next time.